Hi guys, it's Darla here again on my mini series of aromatherapy. Today we're going to talk about chamomile and its properties. So let's get to it. Okay, today we're discussing chamomile and its properties. And there's three chamomiles. There's Roman, German, and Moroccan. Now, Roman and German are the two that you would use in your home. Moroccan, Moroccan is not really a good chamomile for medical purposes. It's mostly used for perfume but it's gonna cost you the same amount of money, so you can't go by the price. I'll put the medical, the scientific name for the Moroccan. So if you ever buy chamomile, do not buy the Moroccan because it will not do anything medically for you. So I'll put that up here at the top. Like I said, it costs about 20 some dollars to $35, and that's for uh, a size, a third of an ounce. That's a very small size compared to, this is the size I would buy. This is a one ounce. To get this size, it would cost you probably about $60 to $80 now. Wow, that's a lot of money for essential oil, but you're only using, like I said, one or two drops. Even if you put it in a potion, you know, you may put 15 drops in a po you know, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Out of that, you're still only going to use one to two drops, maybe six. Up to six is probably the most you would use. So you see, it's still going to last you a very long time. I've had bottles that last me over a year. I mean, I have a stress, but it's not like I have stress every day. And so I wouldn't really need it all the time. Now, also, chamomile plants have been known to approve sickly plants if you put it next to it. It has that healing power. You know, plants do talk to each other. So some of the uses that uh, chamomile is for is kicking tranquilizer habits or kind of any of your habits, you know, your drug habits, alcohol abuse, because they're they're so calming it, it chamomile calms you so you would get through this you have distressed disturbed skin like acne it help with the acne uh, it helps with stress nerves migraines acne inflammation insomnia <laughs> i can't say that one menstrual problems German is also good for eczema, psoriasis, and inflammatory diseases and burns. Now, the German one, you could tell the difference. It's deep, dark blue color. And that's because it's got a high azulene content and it makes it really blue. And it's really pretty and it smells so, I love the smell of chamomile. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you may have had chamomile tea, the number one tea that's sold in America or in, in the world, really. It's really, and that's why it's kind of costly because the demand for chamomile is so high. It takes 6.25 pounds to make one ounce of oil. So it takes quite a bit of flowers to make just one ounce. Not only the whole flower, but the oil and the extract of this plant is used in foods. You could take chamomile flowers and put them in a salad. You could cook them in your soup to enhance the flavor. <clears throat> Plus, like I've told you, the heat releases these chemical compounds. So when you cook with it, it releases. So you're getting extra benefits just from cooking with it and getting it released into your food. Chamomile is probably one of the ones you could actually, you know, eat 
you drink in it, and you're putting it on the outside of your skin. It's also used in shampoos, soaps, perfumes, and creams. It's a, mos a mosquito repellent. A good little thing you can make, because it's excellent for kids. If you have small babies or toddlers, and say you're going on a trip, let's, let's just say at the airport, these kids get all restless, or even going to the grocery store, you know, they get restless, they get aggravated. You know, you take uh, seven drops of mandarin orange and two drops of chamomile. Now, only two drops of chamomile, and you mix those and put it in two tablespoons of a nut or vegetable oil. Then you would only take maybe one or two drops and rub it on the baby's feet. You would rub both of them at the same time. You know, you would put them up there in your, and rub them, rub them together, you know, while you're doing it, and rub their legs, and it'll calm them right down. And a little, I know this works, because I used it on my grandkids when they were little. My grandson loved chamomile bass. And when he came over, that's, he would always ask me, can I have some of that stuff in my bath? Another little story, my, my sister one time, we all went down home and there was a, a bunch of the kids, grandkids that had come with us and some of us were going to go out and meet our cousins and have a cocktail and my, my older sister was going to stay with all the kids. So I told her, you know, they were all young and I said, well here, uh, I made her a little potion of the chamomile and the mandarin orange. And I said, you know, you can rub it on the kid's feet. So she gave them baths and got their pajamas on. And, you know, they were jumping around and, you know, cause they were in a hotel room and having fun. And she got them down one by one and rubbed their feet and legs. And she said, they all calmed down and went to sleep. So she didn't have any problem watching them, you know, a bunch of kids. So I thought that was, that was a good test on that. It, it's very good for babies. If babies are teething, you can wet a wash rag, put a couple drops on it, put it in your freezer, and let the baby suck on that. It'll soothe all that teething area and calm the baby down so they could get through growing those teeth through. Properties are pretty good for both of them. They're antibiotic, antiseptic, antifungal. It's a disinfectant. It's an antimicrobial and antioxidant. And I'll put this up there too. Camazuline, uh, anti-inflammatory, only found in chamomile essential oil. It's a, and the Roman essential oil is known a lot for its sedative properties, calming effect. So the name comes from the Greek word. I never took Greek in school. Which means ground apple. A lot of the Greeks and Romans they always thought it smelled like, kind of like an apple. The German flower comes from England, Hungary, South America, and France. And the Roman comes from England, France, Hungary, Bulgaria, and Yugoslavia. Now, chamomile is one of the oldest and most studied medical herbs dating back thousands of years. In fact, Hippocrates, the father of medicine, I may be saying his name wrong. It has been used since his time in 500 BCE. So they knew about its properties a very long time for its calming effects. It was first to be believed to be a gift from the god Ra, the sun god of, you know, the Egyptians, that's what they believed, and was used in the embalming of pharaohs 
and skin care for women of nobility. So only the rich women. Now we could all use it. Because it was, if you had disturbed skin like acne or it was just maybe a rash or, you know, dry, then this is going to calm. Remember, it's always going to calm. Like I said, it's good for menstrual problems because it calms all that. If you have spasms in your back, it's going to, you could make a massage oil and it'll calm those areas down that are acting up, you know, for spasms or, you know, maybe cramps in your legs. It just calms everything down. Now, the Romans and Greeks, they used for a variety of purposes, including medicines to treat migraines and inflammation, both in beverages and incense. So they burned it in an incense and and that helped them because smelling it really helps you calm down and they used it in beverages. I think they said it was a beer that they would put chamomile beer and then your chamomile tea. The Anglo-Saxons considered chamomile one of the nine sacred herbs and used it for ceremonies as well as healing. And during the Middle Ages, chamomile blossoms with lavender and other scented blooms were spread on the floor to perfume the air as people would walk on it. So, to me, even though chamomile is one of the pricey essential oils, it's very good for these you never know when you're going to have drama in your household. Things happen, people die, you know, your pets die, or, you know, just going through everyday life could be stressful. Driving back and forth to work. And that's why I think chamomile is a very important essential oil to have in your home just for these situations for the babies, for their teeth. Chamomile will kind of lighten your hair, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I used to, you know, kind of put a little bit in my rinse water and rinse my hair with chamomile. I have bought chamomile flowers and I've crushed them up and made my own tea out of it. You could take a tea bag and put it on inflammation. It'll, it'll knock that down. So, I think, like I said, even though it's a pricey oil, it's a good investment in, in your health. Like I said, trying to break a habit, you know, any kind of habit. This will help you get through it because it keeps you calm and keeps you centered. So, we'll finish with that. Okay, that concludes our little talk on chamomile so if you guys enjoy this give me a thumbs up and you know help me out subscribe hit that notification button and you know i've got six more aromatherapy essential oils to go through so join me hopefully next week and we'll finish this off until then i'll see you later alligator bye Okay, I'm getting tongue twisted. My mouth is all dry. Scientific words. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Adios, amigo.